Well, an estimated 1.1 million people have taken to the roads and highways across Michigan for Memorial Day weekend, kicking off the summer travel season. Now, if you are one of those many people and you're hoping to have a great vacation this summer, our money man, Bob Ingram with Ameriprise Financial, he's here with some tips to help make it a little more affordable. So, Bob, how do you go about planning for the vacation as you look at the fact that prices are rising and things are so volatile or changing so much? Well, you just actually said it, that the key is going to be planning. You know, you really want to have a good plan and use all the resources that are now available uh, to you out there uh, across both savings and also just uh, tracking all the potential things you can do for travel. So first thing is, especially if you're going to be flying, like you mentioned, airline prices and hotels, you have to make sure that flexibility is important. Sure. You know, of course, uh, we all have some level of flexibility in our schedules for the summer, but flying on certain days, for example, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, even flying back and forth on a Saturday sometimes can result in lower prices. Um, at the same time, you also have to look at different websites that are available to you, not just the airline sites, which can be helpful, but look at all the different consolidated uh, websites. We're all familiar with the big names, you know, the Travelocities and uh, Kayaks and things. Those can be very helpful. Sure. Um, and you also you need to make sure also that, uh, that you have alerts set up. So you have a flight alert. So like Air, um, airfarewatchdog.com is a great one where you can actually put in the destinations you're looking for over periods of time and it will send you either daily or weekly alerts when your prices actually hit that okay. target. Okay. And the other is sometimes shorter, you know, shorter trips. You might have to take you know, a number of shorter trips, but they can be a little bit more uh, flexible as far as weekends. You know, you know, coming in on a Friday or a Monday or a Tuesday as sure, opposed to a definitely. Sunday can be helpful as opposed to a whole week or even just a weekend. And of course, driving destinations are great too. So now you're, you've got there how do you save once you are there because of course you want to stay on budget sure well you know as far as the hotel prices as you mentioned they're going up so some alternatives of course rentals so looking at condos even if you're going to be traveling for just a long weekend or okay. less than a week more than three days oftentimes a break-even point can make a lot of sense to do a rental. So vacation uh, rentals by owner, vrbo.com is a great site. Homeaway.com is another one, as well as Airbnb, where you can find different rentals um, of all the different types, you know, luxury to, to more simple accommodations there. Of course, also some of the hotel sites, as well as uh, different uh, web apps can be helpful to find those hotel rates when they go down and again use alerts for those and then once you're there you know at your destination you have things to do you're not going to be sitting around the hotel or your condo all the time you're going to need to be planning your dining planning your sure. uh, activities and so Groupon or group coupon type sites Groupon's being one of them you know Amazon local can be a great thing to put in alerts of what kinds of deals and discounts happen in that particular area you're going to so change that location to where you're going to be and then of course you need to plan as a family family allowance to know how okay. much you actually have for those different things so you can prioritize your activities. You mentioned that the uh, Groupons, that's a great idea because even those destinations, they want to maximize their revenue and so as people come, they're going to offer specials and if you don't know where to get them, then you're not able to maximize them. That's right. So you know, do a lot of searches and there are a lot of great apps out there, even something like Expensify to track everything and of course TripAdvisor is a great one. We all you know, sure, sure. looked at that for reviews and things. So you can always find interesting deals, maybe it's on, on a hotel or uh, a restaurant you never even thought of before by looking at those review sites. Excellent advice as always. Bob Ingram, our money man with Ameriprise Financial.